Now, as I mentioned guys, there are two methods to rebuild this failed primary, right? This primary database has been failed and we need to rebuild it. So how do we rebuild it? In our case, we definitely enabled the flashback. So we'll be using the flashback method to quickly reinstate. The correct term is reinstate guys. So in this situation, we don't call it rebuild, like very rare, but generally the correct term by Oracle is reinstate. So we are bringing the primary server in state with the new primary, right? So how do we do it? Okay, so where is our server? For this to be done, what we need to do is, first we need to find out at which SCN number this database, right? The second database, the earlier standby, which is current primary. We need to find out at what SCN number this standby was converted into primary because we need to flash back the primary database back to the exact SCN when the roles were switched, right? So this is something you can do via, let me describe. So standby became primary, where is, can you see this one? Standby became primary SCN. This is the exact column that you need to query to get the answer for. So select this from V dollar database. All right, so this is the SCN number exactly at which the standby became primary. You need to make a note of this SCN number. Maybe I'll put it somewhere over here. And guys, in most of the production servers, let's take if the SCN number is very big. Unfortunately, it won't show up on the screen. It will show up some garbage characters also. In that case, what you can do is use the to care function. I think most of you might know to care and put this SCN number from V dollar database. So at that point of time, even if the length is pretty big for your SCN number, still you will see the entire SCN number. Otherwise, because if you, in general, if you check the data type of this column, it is number. So in Oracle, if the number string is, so the length of the number data type or the value is pretty big, it will represent in E exponential format. In that case, you will have a problem. So the best way is to convert it into two car. So the primary server, now we got the flashback number exactly when the standby became primary. So on this primary server, let us first connect to the server because now the server is up and running. We are assuming there was a crash and the system admin team told us like, hey, we have rebuilt the server, you can connect to the server. Now we are connected to the server. So what steps we need to do? So first of all, you switch to the Oracle user. And the first thing that you always have to do is start the listener. All right, now connect to the database and do not hit startup command because I'll tell you why. What we are doing right now, at this stage, I think I'll pick up a new paint that will be good. At this stage, guys, we had a crashed primary and this is the earlier standby, currently it is primary, right? So what is the role that this server is going to take? I repeat, what is the role this server is going to take in this configuration now that we are rebuilding this server? Come on, guys. Standby? Okay. Yeah. So this will be taking the standby role, correct? In this case, if it is going for the standby role, standby is always in mount mode. So this is what is pretty important thing over here. Most of the DBAs, when they connect to the original primary, they forget that 
it is going to now take the role of a standby so do not hit the start command you need to first take it to the mount mode so start up mount because standby is always in mount mode amazing so once the database is mounted you, what you can do is you can flash back the database back to the exact SCN number where the standby was converted into primary so that the on the original standby server which is the new primary whatever user redo is generated we want that to flow back in this direction and be applied to the new standby and that's the reason we are flashing it back so that we make it consistent with the exact SA number when it became primary so that from that SA number onwards we have all the redo logs over here which we can apply in the reverse direction so we need to flash back it to the exact SCN what we had so flashback database to SCN and give the SA number till where you want to flash back so this is the SCN number we are flashing back the database and from there on whatever changes happen in the new primary we are bringing it back onto this server so that both the servers become in sync right now see this flashback is done at this stage we need to tell the data guard configuration we need to tell it that this server will going forward act as a standby I repeat see at the time of crash the role of this database was primary right and now when we bring up the database if you try to open it like it will give you errors because you cannot have two primary databases in a data card configuration right so currently this is the primary database so if you try to open this will throw an error so what we have to do is we have to tell or we have to say that this database is going to be a standby first of all you change the mode because at the time of server crash the database role was primary if you start or try to open the database immediately it will be in primary mode which is not possible because we already have a primary over here because of this situation first of all we have to say or change the mode on this database saying that okay now your role is standby forget about primary there is nothing called as primary anymore because we have another primary so we need to convert this database into standby because before the crash this was a primary database okay so you need to change the database mode altered database convert to physical standby so we have converted this database into physical standby now we will shut down the database we will mount the database and start the MRP so that logs can be started applying from the new primary to this new standby guys these all steps are very simple I request if you want to be amazing at data guard try to create two virtual machines and play around with these activities at least five six times and then you'll be all comfortable and don't worry guys all these activities are already hosted on our support website all the articles are available you can go through each article one by one okay so this is now acting as a standby even though it's a primary server right so we need to mount this database because standby always runs in a mount mode and now we can start the MRP process so alter database recover manage standby database disconnect so guys, exactly at this stage you all have an assignment it's an assignment and it's a project also you can consider it as a project also because at this stage we are going to check the sync of the data guard that means I will be switching logs on this new primary and 
the logs must be applied over here. So while I'm showing this activity, I will ask you one question. That's a problem statement and you all need to solve that problem. Take this as a project and I would definitely want you all to come up with the solution, right? So over here, we will query the MRP process. Select process status sequence number from e dollar managed standby okay so this one is waiting for log number four and on the target system let us check archive log list okay so current log sequence is four and let me switch the log file alter system switch log file and I'll switch the log file again and let us see if the logs are being applied can you see it is waiting for log number six that means in the reverse direction also our standby or the data guard is fixed guys did anyone notice something different yes no maybe I just want to be sure like if you guys noticed what I noticed and that's your project anyone any idea like what is so special about this reverse configuration and meanwhile guys you think for the answer see the client client is still able to continue the work there is no problem for the client currently client is getting answers from the test underscore s server okay so if you are not able to guess guys this is your question if you see the log numbers the log numbers have come down can you see it is four six earlier we were working on the log number 36 37 38 so why there is log change that's the first question and the second question that I need to ask all of you this is something purely you no one has to answer right now you have to find it out in your own data guard setup you have to find out like after the failover activity was the new primary put into a new incarnation all right this is your project and I want everyone to find answers to it because log numbers shouldn't have changed right if it is whether it is going from primary to standby or if it is in reverse direction the log sequence number should have been maintained same so I want you guys to find answers no need to answer right now and please write to me once you get this answer all right so what is the current configuration that we see in our environment the current configuration that we have is this is the test database this is the test underscore s this database is acting as standby this database is acting as primary and at this stage the client is connected to this primary correct test underscore s we can validate it over here right so to revert back to our original configuration what we can do is at this stage we can perform a normal switch over so if you perform a normal switch over this will become primary this will become standby and client will connect over here and I think let us perform a switch over just to revert back to our original configuration I'm doing this guys just to make more complex scenarios for you so that once you are practicing that time it will kind of like force you to learn multiple stuff right okay so I'll go to support so switch over perform manual switch over on physical standby we'll be using this article to quickly perform the switch over and I don't think we have to check for any gaps because we see that data guard is in sync so I'll quickly run this command on primary just to check this is the primary right which was earlier standby the small window is primary so this primary is ready to be switch to standby and this is our favorite command to perform the switch over so what we are doing is we are converting this primary database into physical standby okay so this database has been converted and we will mount this database because 
a standby always runs in a mount mode right and at this stage let us query on the client terminal and see what client has to see client goes on wait because there is no primary database correct and we are converting the standby into primary so this is our standby correct so let us check the switch over status and convert to primary and then we need to open the database so I'll open the client terminal and let us see from where client gets the answer amazing can you see now client is getting answers from the test server and at this stage what you can do is because this has become your new standby or the original standby we need to start the MRP process alter database recover manage standby database disconnect all right and let us check the status of the processes select process status sequence number from v dollar managed standby so now MRP is waiting for log number 8 and over here archive log list all right alter system switch log file we have performed a couple of log switches and we can see this MRP is waiting for log number 10 so that means we have successfully restored to our original configuration so what all steps we perform guys we perform a failover and then we perform a switch over to get back to our original configuration this is the current configuration that we have the test server is acting as primary the test underscore s is acting as standby right and we can also see the client is getting answers from the test server correct amazing so while we perform these two activities guys the client was unaware of what was going in the background client was still happily able to query our databases you can see earlier it started with test then it connected to test underscore s and then we came back to test server right so that's the beauty of disaster recovery and that's how people or clients get satisfied all right guys any doubts till now or shall we move on to how do we convert physical standby into a snapshot standby okay no doubts so let's move on